how to export NFS share in Red Hat like Linux system with Ansible, I'm going to show you in a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Berton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about how to export an NFS share in Red Hat like Linux system. NFS is Linux file is network file system. The full process requires six steps that you could automate using six different Ansible modules. Firstly, you need to install the NFS kernel server packages and dependency using the ansible.builtin.yam Ansible module. Secondly, you need to create the shared directory and assign the permission using the ansible.builtin.file Ansible module. Thirdly, you need to add the share in the slash etc slash export exports configs file using the ansible.builtin.lining file Ansible module to add text line in files. Fourthly, you need to export share executing the export fs command line utility via the ansible.builtin.command Ansible module. Unfortunately, there is not a specific module yet. Fifthly, you need to restart the NFS-server service and all the dependent using the ansible.builtin.service Ansible module. And lastly, sixthly, you need to open the relevant firewall service related ports using the ansible.posix.firewallD Ansible module. So it's a lot of fun. Demo. Let's jump in a real life Ansible playbook about how to export an NFS share in Red Hat like Linux system. Are you ready? Welcome to my editor. I will show you how to export an NFS share in Red Hat like system. First of all, let's begin our play named NFS service demo, which is going to target hosts all of our inventory become true because we need a root privilege to perform all the following actions. Then let's define three different variables that can be useful during the execution. First is the share slash NFS slash share. Second are the option of sharing. So there will be my IP address of my local area network. Here we are slash 24, which means all the network, then some parameter, read, write, synchronize, and root underscore squash. These are basically default parameter for NFS. You can deep dive in NFS manual. Then let me add the permission, in my case 0777, so read, write, execution for all the users. Then let's start our six tasks playbook. First will be NFS server installed and we are going to use the ansible.builtin.yam module to install the package and all the required dependency. We need NFS-utils and NFS4-acl-tools. The state will be present. Then let's move to the second task that is going to be share directory 
exist that is going to create the share directory folder hierarchy. We need to use ansible.builtin.file and in this case we need a parameter path that will be the value of my variable share. Here we are, let's close the parentheses. Then the state will be directory because we need directory. Then let's define also some permission. Mode will be my permission. Then also let me add the user owner equal to root and group is equal to root. Here we are. Third task will be named share in slash etc slash exports file because we would like to list our share inside this uh, configuration file for NFS and we are going to use the ansible.builtin.lining file module. We need to define the target file, in my case slash etc slash exports then uh, export, yes with x, uh, here we are. Then the state need to be present because we need this line present and the exact line will be the combination of uh, two of my variable, the value of share variable. Oh, I hit enter, uh, let me close parentheses, then a space uh, and uh, the value of options variable. Here we are, when we change this file we need to notify the restart NFS server handler because we would like to trigger a restart only on change of this file. What else? We need to export the shares. Here we are. And for this task we need to rely on ansible.builtin.command module because I would like to execute export fs r a v on the target machine. Unfortunately there is not a dedicated module. So Let's move to the next, next task that will be named firewall enable and we are going to use the ansible.posix.firewalld module parameter. So the service will be the value of uh, the item variable because uh, we need a, a loop. I will show you later. The state will be enable because we want to enable this type of service. What else? Also permanent uh, true, which means that uh, it need to be last uh, on uh, the on the boot uh, and immediate uh, true, which means that uh, need to be applied right now. Let me list the item of this loop NFS. What then? rpc dash bind and mount d. So we we will enable this free service with firewall. Uh, last things we need to define our handler. In my case, is named restart nfs server. that is going to execute ansible.builtin.service module. Mm, this module will execute action on uh, name nfs-server and exactly the state need to be restarted restart, let me add ad and enabled true because we would like to enable on boot also. So here we are, we did the six tasks, let me small recap my playbook, let's start from the beginning. So first of all we define some variable, 
that are useful during the execution, share, option and permission, then we are going to install the necessary package, create the directory, add the, in the export file, export, uh, the, apply the configuration file and uh, enable firewall just in case we are going to restart NFS server if needed. Welcome to my console, I will show you the execution of my Ansible code. So first of all, let me connect to my demo machine with SSH, DevOps as user and demoexample.com is a fresh new machine, so I need to accept the SSH key. Let me switch to root and cut the slash etc red hat release. Yes, is a rel a.4. Here we are, let me verify with rpm-qa grep nfs-utils that this package is not present on this machine and it is not. Then what else? Let me verify if the service with system control status nfs-server.service is not running. In fact, it doesn't exist. What else? Uh, we can uh, verify with exportfs s and command not found because uh, this system don't know how to handle NFS. Let me cut the config file slash etc exports that is an empty file that was created in default by RHEL. What else we can do? We can list uh, the NFS uh, share path that in my case is slash NFS slash share and no such file or directory. <laughs> Fantastic. Let me verify also the firewall status. Firewall dash GMD state is running. So what service are enabled with uh, dash dash list services? We have only cockpit, DHTTP client and SSH. So no traces on NFS and what with list all same result, but with a list of the listening interfaces. So this machine is fresh, new rel 8.4 without any NFS services, as you can see. Let me exit from root user, exit from normal user, and let me apply to this system our Ansible playbook with ansible-playbook-e my inventory and then the path of my code. In my case, is going to start and execute one by one the six expected tasks. We are expecting six changed status because each module is performing some action on the target host. The first step is NFS server installed is going to install the package and the dependency so it takes time depending on the performance of the machine and also the network. The others, as you can see, are very fast because are only editing of some file or performing very basic action on the target host. So we have a six changed status. Let me verify the hidden potency of my Ansible playbook. To do this, let's execute again the same command, again the same host, and this time we are expecting only OK status, but we have uh, one command uh, Ansible module, so that task will always list it as changed. And as expected, we have six OK, one changed, so hidden potency works very well. Let me connect again via SSH DevOps at demoexample.com sudo su to switch to root and this time the things need to be different so rpm dash qa grep nfs dash utils 
and there is a package installed, version 2.3.3. What else? Let's see if uh, there is the service running with system control status NFS server dot service and is active. So fantastic, the NFS server and service are running. What we can see also if the file system are exported correctly with export fs dash s oh I add an extra s let me export fs dash s here we are we have the path of the file system and also all the options some are defaults that are added by rel by default let me list the content of slash etc slash exports fantastic it's exactly the text file that we were expecting let me list the directory slash nfs slash share and it exists so ansible created all the three let me verify the firewall so firewall gmd state is running and this time when the list services we are expecting all the related NFS service and here we are we have NFS, MountD and RPC-Bind let me list all this time and here we are the service are enabled for both the malware our network interface so good job Hansible in a few lines of code you were able to start from uh, a brand new fresh rail machine set up all the necessary packages and configure an NFS uh, server taking care also of firewall and creating all the necessary directory I think that is a really interesting proof of concept Now you know how to export NFS share in a Red Hat-like Linux system with Ansible. Thank you for watching and if you like it give me a thumbs up and see us on the next lesson. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!